So have you seen the Yeezy Pods? I actually have them on feet. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think? They, they look like socks. They look like you're just wearing some regular socks. Right? I actually got a pair coming in. You do? Mm -hmm. You pay 200 or you pay 20? I pay 20. Okay. What you think? Yeezy Pods? What, yeah, what you think? But what about the bottom like? It looks what? a Mother isn't even the real one. <laughs> I've been honestly pretty blessed that over the last five, six years, I've been able to travel and go all over the world. This trip that I'm going on this weekend, I'm going to somewhere I've never been before, and that is OKC. I kind of thought of a funny idea to do for this video. And that's basically where fake Yeezy pods to the sneaker event and get people's reactions, because I don't think people will even realize that they're fake. And when I say fake, I'm not talking about like a pair that I bought from overseas that's a replica. I'm talking about going to Target, buying a black sock and just wearing it and telling people this is the Yeezy pod. What do you think? I would have had a real Yeezy pod, but unfortunately, I guess Kanye and Yeezy didn't want me to have them. Basically, I ordered the Yeezy pods on December 15th while I was in Dubai because I wanted to get the Yeezy pods and make content with them. So I was okay with paying $200. I was patiently waiting for them. And then I started to see other people get theirs, like my boy Seth Fowler. Shout out to him because he made his content and he absolutely killed it. But I started to see other people getting their Yeezy pods and I was like, wait, where's mine? I did the pre-order in December and then out of nowhere, they changed the price to $20. So I'm like, wait, you made me pay $200. You didn't send me my pods and then you changed the price to $20. So I was kind of confused. They then put out a statement, even Kanye reposted it saying, email this email and we will give you a price adjustment. We'll give you 180 bucks back since Yeezy pods are $20 now. So I sent an email to them. Hey, I would like my price adjustment adjustment. This is my order number. Thank you. What did I get in response? They just straight up canceled my order. So I don't have Yeezy pods. I did get my money back, which was cool, but I missed out on a bunch of content opportunities, which is why I bought the Yeezy pods in the first place. For the people that don't understand, I'm always thinking content first. So when I saw the Yeezy pods were available, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to do like wearing the Yeezy pods for a week, reviewing the Yeezy pods, TikToks, all that stuff. Yeezy has left me with no choice but to just make my own sock Yeezy pods and get people's reactions. I do when I get in my rental car is always smell it. If it smells bad, no way I'm taking it. And then the second thing I do is use this thing right here for my phone. Thing right here is like a MagSafe. Boom. You don't have to like clip it, literally just MagSafe it. Clip it onto an air vent like that. And then anytime I need to take it off while I'm driving or whatever, it's right there. Got my navigation right there. So I love this thing. I wouldn't typically link a product like that, but I know a lot of y'all are gonna ask. So I'll leave the link down below if anybody wants to pick that up because it's so clutch. <laughs> to the game last night it was a super dope experience shout out to the homie juan from kicklahoma for taking me courtside and watching the thunder absolutely demolish the wizards currently 12 30 p.m i don't usually sleep in like this but i woke up at 4 a.m to watch wrestling technically i could have slept in and just watched it when i woke up but i like to watch it live because you never know what's gonna happen i really don't know what i'm gonna do today but <sighs> It's the day before the event. I have the whole day to just do whatever. I need a Max Ween. Alright, just walked out of the mall and as expected, Foot Locker was super dry, but JD Sports was actually the only store that had some good stuff. They had the baby blue and orange Vomeros. I wanted to get the baby blue joints for Mina, but they didn't have her size. The orange joints I want too, but it's more of like a burnt orange. They also had like the new Jordan ones that just dropped literally today. I don't want to call them the pandas, but they're black and white. So, and they just had a few other sneakers but like nothing too crazy yeah i gotta go to target now because i need to get these socks for the yeezy pod all right we got it and then i found these little rubber things that are made for the inside of the shoe but i'm thinking to just like stick them on the bottom because the bottoms have rubber so it will look maybe a little bit more realistic This 
This is the craziest KD collection I've ever seen. What the KD4 is, one of three in the world, all right? It's got literally all the dope KDs all in one. Scoring title, Galaxy, Weatherman, Nerf on the strap. Bruh, this is insane like even the bottom damn lebron superman i think this is the lebron three boom look at these i know y'all don't care about these but i'm like a big nike basketball guy so like this is sneakers that i used to see on like soul collector and slam magazine or perfect pair posting them and like we used to drool over these this is from all-star weekend in las vegas bro oh my god Look at this. I can't believe they're actually bringing the Fruity Pebbles back out. I definitely need those. I don't really collect LeBrons, but... Oh my god, the Blake Griffins. Y'all remember the Blake Griffins? Look at that. The tongue tag was goaded. Blake Griffin was him at a point. He got me on my knees over here. That's what she said. Of course, we're in Oklahoma, so he's got a few of the Oklahoma PEs as well. The high Jordan 1, as well as the low Jordan 1s. And there's rumors that these low Jordan 1s are coming out in a few of the college PEs, but I don't think the Oklahoma's rumors to come out jordan 4 pe that logo on the tongue so beautiful speckled midsole and then the fives with the logo right there tongue is suede and so instead of the traditional like 3m jordan 5 tongue he's also got the the oklahoma sixes right there ovo jordan 4 breads drake wanted these so they made it for him it's like inspired by an original sample of the bread fours and then he got the little owl back there this is crazy this is my size too so i told him if he ever wants to sell these Give me a call. All right, let's get into the KDs, y'all. These are like KDPEs before he had his own signature line. I don't know what these models are called, I forget, but I just remember KD rocking these when he was with the Supersonics. Fun fact, the last game of the Supersonics ever before they moved to Oklahoma and became the Thunder was versus the Warriors, and KD played, and I was at that game. So, yeah, it's pretty cool to see these PEs. What do y'all know about these? Oh my god, bro. I'm geeking over this collection, I'm not gonna lie. Sign pair, KD one ones right here first signature shoe patent leather on the inside and then the suede on the outside y'all remember when the whole team even westbrook was rocking these this was like a huge moment for nike basketball this was the christmas the copper christmas joints these ones were hard apparently these are coming out so i'm definitely grabbing these because i never owned these before kd fives right here any on pro kd is just so sick oh this is a fragment holy crap this is a fragment kd i didn't even know this existed maybe i did i just forgot I mean, logo i forgot they did this fragment. the fragment all right so i didn't do like a full collection video for y'all i apologize maybe we'll do that next time i'm out here too many pairs and this video is just going to be centered around something else so i don't want to just mix it into this video and it not really get it the appreciation that it deserves and i didn't even show you guys these right there but y'all already know what that is so we're just gonna leave that that is day three here in oklahoma and this is my target made Yeezy pod. But let me show you guys how I made this. First of all, I got this insole that I sometimes play basketball with and it's pretty firm because you don't want an insole that's gonna be like flopping around. You need something a little bit firm. And then for the socks, I'm double layering the socks. So there's actually two socks in here to make it look thicker. And then yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. You just put the insole inside the sock to give it some shape, just how like the Yeezy pods have. These were actually meant to be on the inside of the shoe to help you with cushioning. That's what I'm doing with these is just throwing them on here so yeah when you see it you're literally just gonna see a little bit of rubber making it a little bit more realistic let's head to this event and see what people think of yeezy pods all right y'all so we about to put on the bootleg yeezy pods here at the event event's been going great so far though it'll be interesting to get people's take on these thinking they're real but they're not because it's literally just the sock so <laughs> Have you seen the Yeezy Pods? The Yeezy Pods, yeah. What do you think of them? I mean, they're all right, but like, I don't really like the color. I actually have them on feet. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think? They, they look like socks. They look like socks? I mean, I got them too right now. Oh, you got them too? Hey, Bruh. he said I got them too. Okay. Uh, me, I don't. Wait, did you buy those from Target? Oh, uh, I think I thrifted these. Oh, you thrifted the socks? All right, you're a real one, bro. But you like them, right? Yeah. You like cop for 20 bucks? Oh. Uh, or no, nah, maybe like 10. Probably 10. 10? Okay, yeah. bad man. Appreciate you, bro. Hey, can I take a picture with you? Of course, yeah, I got you. You've seen the Yeezy pods, obviously. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of them? I got them on feet. First impressions. I know nobody else got these out here. Look like you're just wearing some regular socks. Right? Regular socks. Would you pay 20 bucks or what? 10. 
10? That's why everybody would only pay 10. <laughs> Kanye said he's losing 17 bucks on every pair, man. Yeah. I'd like some karate socks or something. Really? Right? Yeah. You ain't rocking them? <laughs> no. Oh, damn, right. What if I told you these are literally just black socks from Target? Are they? Yeah, they That's are. what they kind of look like. <laughs> You've seen the Yeezy pods, yeah? Yes, sir. So I got them on feet. Well, what's your first reaction to these? <laughs> They're just socks, man. Just socks? Just, these look like socks. Yeah, bro. But would you rock them or no? I actually got a pair coming in. You do? Mm -hmm. You pay 200 or you pay 20? I pay 20. Okay, you paid the 20. You think it's worth 20 bucks seeing it in person? Can I see the bottle? Dang. Yeah, I think it's worth it. You think it's worth it? All right, man. Yeah, you know these are actually just black socks from Target. They are? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got them on feet. What do you think? Wow, that's that's whoa, that's crazy. Look like socks. What would you think? Would you rock them? You paying twenty dollars for them or no? I would. You you rock them? Rock them. All right, bet, bet. By the way, th these are actual socks from Target. They're not real. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. You got my ass, bro. Literally, it's not even, it doesn't even have rubber. It has a fruit. I got the Yeezy pods on feet. What do you think? Man, I don't know, man. You, you like, like some house slippers. House slippers? I mean, for $20, why not? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. You like them? They look, they look legit, right? Yeah, they're pretty comfortable. Hey, for 20 bucks, I get them. These are, these are actually just socks from Target. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. This is the man of the hour, 10 year anniversary, Kicklahoma. But I gotta know, easy pot. I mean, you already know they're not real. It's a crazy $20 idea for a, a high top pair of socks. Better 20 than 200. That's true, that's true. At least I got my money back. What you think? Easy what, Yeah, what you think? Bro, I think they go hard. I comped them, but I haven't got them yet. Yeah, oh yeah, man, I got that early access. No, I, I see you got refunded too. Yeah, they refunded me and then I DM Kanye and he's like, oh, I'm gonna send you a pair to review. That's lit as f bro. Yeah, yeah. What about the bottom, like? The bottom is cool, what do you think? It looks what? a little- Mother isn't even the real one! <laughs> hey, first- You're the first person to call it out! Bro, really? These are from Target. They're just oh, socks. Uh, Easy pods? Yeah. You can't miss for $20, bro. You can't, right? What do you think? Seeing them in person for the first time. They look like socks. Okay, I bet. What's a 1 out of 10 comfortability? Uh, probably like a solid 7. It ain't no boost, but... Worth $20? Yeah, for sure. I'm you probably gonna pick up a pair now. You got it? Yeah, you gotta wait four weeks pre-order. <laughs> hey, shout out to this guy, man. He looks like the guy from Dune. <laughs> what is that, bro? Timothy Chalamet. What is that? Oh, Timothy Chalamet. You, I got you look like him. Hey, what do you think of my shoes? I'm asking people what they think of the Yeezy Pods. They're pretty sick. You like them? You cop yep. them for 20 bucks? Nah. You... Hey, hey. Go follow the brand, Too Easy Brand. Hell yeah. Check them out. I gotta get your opinion though. What y'all think about the Easy Pods? Damn, bro. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Lift your, lift lift your like pan up. What you think about? You wearing them? Yeah, you wearing They're cool. Like, I mean, cool. they were 20 bucks, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, the sizing is weird because it's like one, two, three. Like, bro, what is this? Yeah, Sesame Street? Can you move in them? Like, or you just slide? I mean, yeah. Should I hoop in them? No. Uh, they, got, <laughs> they got grip. I'm not Easy Pod hype, right? Huh? Easy pods, you know Easy pods. Oh yeah, Easy pods. I got them on feet. What do you think? Loki thought you were just wearing socks. Me and my girlfriend, she was like, he's he's barefoot. <laughs> you don't like them? You copping them for twenty? Nah, you can't see yourself know. walking around. Like you go run errands, you go to Target, you go grab some food, you go on a date, take your girl out. She not gonna let you rock Easy Easy pods on a date? Nah, I got fat uh, flat feet. It's gonna look like them swim uh, paddle things. I'm gonna be honest with you. These are just black socks from Target. <laughs> oh. I mean, that's something Kanye would do. So. Right? All right, guys, that's it, man. Just go buy some black socks from Target. Nobody's going to know the difference. Made it to the airport. I love coming to places like... Oklahoma City. This is my first time being here obviously, but I love coming to places like here because living in LA Things are moving at hundred miles per hour. It's a great city, but there's just a lot going on So every once in a while I like coming to these places where there's not much going on no diss to Oklahoma But there's it's come on. You, you know what I'm saying. I really enjoyed it. People were super nice Good afternoon, Delta passengers on flight 3734 with service from the luggage in the Delta baggage service office on the lower all right, like I was saying, it's nice to get away from all the craziness in a big city and come to somewhere like Oklahoma where everything is spaced out. There's not a lot of traffic. Everyone's super, super nice. It's just peaceful. The sunset is beautiful. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this vlog. I'm sure it gave you like old school 2015, 2016 types vibes because it's just super easy for me to film on this new camera I have, which is this DJI Osmo 3, I believe. Compared to my old camera where I used to just set up 
a big ass camera in public and things like that. Literally, this is all I have to set up is this little screen right here with the little gimbal, a little tripod, a little battery pack, and it has the built in mic, which is super clutch. So, yeah, this video is over. This trip is over. Thank y'all for tuning in. Kanye. If you're watching this or anybody from the Easy team, I'm not promoting fake Easy pods, but I just, I didn't get mine and I really wanted to make a video about them. So this was the video.